Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we've got some uh, pretty interesting objects to check out. So I've got no idea what this simulation contains. I've been given um, it by Mad Planet Guy, so massive thank you to him for uh, sending this in for us to check out. Um, but yeah, this system is called, or a simulation is called Custom Imported Asteroids. Apparently it's got 25 to 30 objects in it and apparently they all have custom models and stuff. So this... This seems interesting, so without further ado, let's just hop straight into this and see what sort of um, hectic stuff is in here. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Right, so uh, we need to search it up, obviously, and it's called the Custom Imported Asteroids. So let's see what we've got. Okay, whoa, okay, right. Ooh. So here we go. Ooh, right, ooh, wow, okay. Um, custom Asteroid models never distribute or repost these, please. Yeah, always. Right, Wow. So these are not spherical. A lot. Look at the shape of some of these. Oh, these will be cool for making some custom objects for in the size comparison this year. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so this is Phobos. Look at that. Is this uh, Demos here? No, that's Phobos again. Look at this. It's like one of those glitchy things in Space Engine. That is very bizarre indeed. Uh, what's this one over here? So we've got another Phobos here. But yes, yeah, it's, it's cool. They're not all spheres anymore. So there we are. Another Phobos. This is cool, look at these. So there's a lot of them all sprayed in here. So it looks like these are all the uh, same copy of Phobos over here. So what we got in the uh, back over here, so. Wow, okay. So these are all custom models and stuff, and they've all got, they're not spheres anymore, which is really, really cool. Those those gray ones at the back look really, really cool as well. So we've got uh, more Phobos's again. So it looks like he used Phobos as the uh, template. Uh, what's this, Asteroid. That looks really, really cool, honestly. It looks like he used Mimus, maybe. You can see all the craters on it, maybe. That's something to do with it. I'm not sure. Looks really, really good, though. Look at this one as well. Like They actually look like proper asteroids instead of the current spheres we have in the game. I mean, some of these look a lot more non-spherical, which is really, really cool. Yeah, very nicely done. I mean, look at that. Yeah, these will be great for some making some custom asteroids um, for like size comparisons and videos and stuff like that, or just custom solar systems. Like We could make a... Um, with these... We could make like a custom Vesta, Pallas, all of the Asteroid Belt objects, some of the Kuiper Belt objects. What you should try is, um, is it, which one is it? Is it Orcus in the outer solar system? One of those dwarf planets is not even a sphere. Maybe, maybe try, maybe we could make one of those, like one of those could be made with a custom template like this. So it's a non-spherical um, dwarf planet, isn't it? I think it's, is it Orcus? I don't know which one it is. I know it's one of them. But yeah, that, that'd be really, really cool. So there they are. And then, um... Another asteroid there, but yeah, these these open loads of doors to really really cool possible objects to make. So, yeah, look at that custom imported asteroids. So, wow, we. I mean, yeah, I, I, this one's really really cool as well. This double merged one. I mean, what is going on there? That that does look really really cool. And yeah, you could make some really really neat looking stuff with these. So, yeah, that is really really cool so yeah nice nice job to him because that is really cool and yeah thanks for sharing because yeah these these are really cool and yeah i think these could open some really cool opportunities for making custom objects with especially that non-spherical dwarf planet i can't remember the name of it what, what's it called that's going to bug me if i don't know what it is i know I, I recognize it when i see it let's just go to the default solar system simulation here i know it's one of them I, i'm not sure if it is orcus is it is it uh i think it's Hemea. it's Hemea, isn't it i think this is the non-spherical one this one's a weird shape. Maybe, yeah, custom Hemea. That would be really, really cool to see if you if that's possible. Yeah, give it a go, Mad Planet Guy. That'll be... If you can do that, that'll be really, really cool to see. But yeah, that's just an idea. So, yeah, we would be interested if that would be possible. But yeah, there we are. So there is those custom asteroids. But he also had another simulation for us to check out in this quick little video today. So, uh, apparently, eight lost height maps. So, uh, eight... Um, my sims, and uh, eight. Eight height things. Okay, so what what's in here? Whoa, a lot of oo-woos. Right, so height apps. So what exactly are these? I mean, they look really, really cool. I mean, some custom crater objects. So he wants them to remain unsaved. So I'll just leave them in this simulation for the time being. But yeah, these will be great for making custom solar system moons and stuff with. I mean, look at these. So, are these all stuff that was never properly Im implemented into the game? Like, are these all objects that we could get with random spawn rocky planets, is my guess? I'm not not entirely sure. But, yeah, it'd be cool if we could get these as... So, these are, if these are height maps, we should be able to... If we can customise them, we should be able to add water and it'll fill up. Let's see how it... 
How does it look if I had water? Okay, so it does fill up the lower areas. Oh, these would make some. Re these would be able to make some really, really cool looking planets with with these different height maps. Let's have a little look with the adding water to them all. Oh, look at that one. It's got like a lure. You must have. You must have already had a customize on that one. Yeah, these would be. These would be really, really cool to get in the um, main game without modding. I mean. Yeah, you get some really, really cool-looking objects of all the craters and stuff. I would definitely like to use these as templates at some point, with your permission, because... Wow. Yeah, I'll leave them in this simulation as requested, though, but... Yeah, they look really, really cool. So, yeah, these would be, these would be great for making random, like, just fresh planets with them. Yeah. They all have custom height map levels and stuff as well. I mean, they look they look great. So let's just add um, all the water onto these. So I'm not exactly sure how these work properly. Like, are these just textures that were never used in the game or are they are high it says lost height map so are these all stuff that just hasn't been added to the game properly but it's still in the game files my guess i mean yeah who knows i mean pretty pretty cool stuff there i like how the water changes color when it gets deeper as well that's really really neat so i think the best looking one is this one though 100 percent is this one here i really really like the little craters on it but yeah there we are guys that's just a little showcase of some uh Crazy, crazy modded objects in the game files uh, made by MadPlanet, guys. So massive thank you to him for sharing those with us. And, yeah, if you enjoyed it, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. And, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be interested to hear your feedback on that. And make sure to check out his uh, channel as well. But that all said and done, guys. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video. Subscribe for more. Help us on a journey to 21,000 subscribers. And, yeah, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.